Okay, everybody. We are going to give everybody a little bit of a Pumpkin Wars update. Where are we at? How are we doing? Are the fruits weighed? What's going on? So stay tuned. So, Pumpkin Wars, we have officially weighed two fruits, and I'm going to have the numbers posted up above, kind of like a little leaderboard. So we got two fruits weighed, and we have several more to go, lots of, I mean, issues have happened throughout the season, we lost a few fruits, and you know, it's just one of those things, so we got, we got some on the board, and who knows? Those two might be the ones that end up winning the pumpkin wars. You just don't know. We're growing. My fruit can go down. Who knows? But we got two to the scale. I think uh, there's going to be some weighing in Kentucky, maybe, possibly. And then we got Ohio and Kansas. I, I don't know where I'm going to be. I know everybody wants to know, where are you taking your fruits? And that's a big question. But first, before we get into all of that, I'll give you a little update on the patch. As you can see here, we're standing outside. And here's where the 2195 sat. And uh, we got the 2195 right there. So something I want to go over with real quick as we walk through the patch here. And I like to do this every year is kind of look over, say, okay, what can I do different? What can I do better? I did not spend a lot of time out here in the beginning of the season. Mainly because generally the plants don't do it. The pumpkins don't do good at all in the heat of Kansas. But my new system here definitely worked. I didn't spend a lot of time this year, but for next year, I'm gonna spend a ton more time because this plant here is still in really good health. And really the 1885 is hard to see, but it's like right there, that way, very little plant. It's still in very, very good health. Leaves are green, so you can't beat that. But one thing that I wanna show everybody just something that kind of understand about nutrients and how a giant pumpkin plant, pumpkin in general works and how the flow of nutrients happens. So we'll come over here where the 2195 used to sit. And you can see the main vine, she's way back in there. And yes, I'm letting fruit grow. You can see that one in there. But the main vine came here and then went right to here. And it was small when I took it off. And then you can see it's gotten a lot bigger. The flow of nutrients was coming to here. This vine here was really small. And then the flow of nutrients is happening. It's coming here and it wants to go right here where the pumpkin is, sorry. It wants to go right where the pumpkin is. Well, there's nowhere for it to go because the pumpkin ain't here. So this was leaking for about a week or so afterwards. It was just dripping water out of that. Well then, the, main, the secondary that's right off of that got big so what i did was i set several fruit now something to be noted and this is why you want to try to set one early on and not wait the plant is sending signals hormones to it so we set a fruit well this fruit here is on a secondary and you can see it's not shaped well so a way that you can tell when your fruit doesn't have the right nutrients when you've got a nutrient imbalance or something like that going on. Now this one here happens to be because I set the fruit after all the nutrients, everything in this plant was trying to flow to the pumpkin that was set there. Well, this one here, the nutrients weren't exactly flowing to it properly. So you got a big area here and then a small torpedo butt as I like to call them. Torpedo butt generally means you got nutrient imbalance. So we know why this was a nutrient imbalance, but it's just something to be kind of note take note of stuff like this i see i like to take a note of it every year so anyways back to the plant it's huge this one here was probably close to 1200 1300 square feet because i let it go into this one here and this plant here was probably 350 to 400 square feet plant itself healthy the fruit i'm not going to uncover it but very healthy so there you go that's your 1883 my only shot at one of those orange plaques. Never got an orange plaque, got a shot. So if you ever want to try to grow a big orange beast, well, hit up old Scott Baywatch. He's got some 1883 seeds and those are honeys. 
Let's go in the greenhouse. Right, we're in the greenhouse. The plant is tired. She's wore out. It's late in the season. I start mine really early because I, I just know it's hard to get a pollination in Kansas. So I know this over the years. I've been doing this since 2009. For me, it's more important to get a cool pollination. That way I get one in. Case in point, this one here. This one here was supposed to be set somewhere right here was the first one, I think. And then there was a second one, then there was a third, then there was a fourth, then there was a fifth. Then there was a bunch on side vines. I think this was number seven pollinated. I think I pollinated 10 or 11 pumpkins on this plant before it finally took. So if I would have done it, it had an older plant, the chances that this would have gotten pollinated in Kansas was probably pretty darn slim. So we got a fruit pollinated. We got one growing. This one will probably be one of my first ones to get weighed. I don't know if it's going to be this one or the 21, 2261. They're a lot younger, older than the 1883. So there's a look at it. And where are we going to take it? And we are planning on taking this one. Okay, we're back here at the... 2261 now once again cut off most of the leaves i want to keep good healthy main vine that's my goal here the plant is pretty much done the pumpkin itself it's growing a little bit there's a little bit of growth in it but it's not as important to me to get right big growth right now as it is to keep a healthy fruit so that's why the main vine has been kind of shaving back with all of its leaves we keeping the stem healthy. We're keeping it dry. We're keeping fans on it here. We're keeping fans on it there. Most important thing is to watch the main, the, the stem itself. This one here, I think I measured it at over. You can believe it, 30 inches around right there. So the stem is 30 inches around. Makes the pumpkin look small, which is a good thing. I like it when the pumpkins look small because it doesn't matter how big the pumpkin is, only matters what that scale says it weighs, right? So this one here, we're uh, right at like September 1st or something like that. One other thing, I missed them. So you can see a little bit of water there. I always clear it off, but have to do it several times a day. Anyway, sorry about that. So uh, September 1st, we're looking at uh, needing to take this girl to a way off. So where are we gonna go? Well, on this fruit, I plan on taking it to. So yeah, there you go. There's your giant pumpkin wars update. Uh, we got our leaderboard. I'll pop it up one more time here for those of you who stick around to the friggin' end. Whatever, you can see who it is. I'm gonna try to keep the leaderboard going as we get fruits weighed. I don't know how many fruits we have out there. It's been a tough year. So I've got three growing right now. Might have warm arms at the end of the year. Who the heck knows? It's just going to be exciting. We're going to see what these girls weigh. I can't wait to see you guys at the scales. Peace.